Hello guys, Jesper Nissen here, uh, creator of Yax. I just wanted to uh, give you a short video to explain to you how you can select random keywords and random contents, paragraphs, when you are making a mass page website. So um, I'm using a, let's say I'm just using, I'm just using single page mode for this and I will build a 100 page website and target URL will be will be my own website, yesbundison.com. And I have some, uh, I have some, I have some keywords. I have some keywords that I produced and I have 100, pest, uh, 100 page test keywords. So let's see, these, these are the 100 keywords. I insert them here in meta title. And if you have used Yaks before, Meta description, I'll just try write this. If you have used uh, Yaks before, you know that the uh, first meta title has a very special role to play because this will be the anchor text that goes towards your target URL. So let's click preview and see what we have here. <clears throat> so we have the keyword one that's going towards yespanism.com and the keyword one, two, three, four, five. These are the menu items that I included. I could also you know, disable the uh, navigation menu and click preview again and then they're not there but I'll just include them for now <clears throat> so let's go down to the content because this is what it's uh, what it's about first of all first of all I want to say that each page has assigned seven additional keywords that's the main keyword that's the the keyword that is uh, shown here and this keyword will go into the h1 into the menu uh, item, it will go into the page title, and it will go into the URL up here also. So these are the four um, four main places that the main keyword will go. It will also go into the schema code as a keyword, but you know <clears throat> that's another thing. Um, the seven additional keywords, it's optional, ob obviously, so you don't need to. Um, it's not mandatory. But uh, obviously, it's a good thing to have additional keywords in your content, and these keywords here. Keyword one, keyword two, keyword three, keyword four. It's extremely boring to watch me do this. Keyword four. So uh, you will be happy to know that I'm soon done. Keyword, uh, keyword six, keyword seven. Seven. All right. <clears throat> So if I click uh, preview now, you can see that the seven keywords are actually attached now as the, you know, the jump links. It's auto created. I click here, it's a jump link down here, and also uh, as a uh, the subheaders, we also use the keywords in the subheaders and also in the schema code. If I right click and show source text, I can scroll down. So I can see now that the uh, the description is then auto created by the keywords and. Accessibility summary and blah blah blah, you know, keywords, award, best keyword teachers, offers, etc. 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 Additional use. So we use that extensively also in the schema code. We just close these here. <clears throat> so, but obviously, you cannot use the same seven keywords if you're building a 100 page website, obviously. Uh, and even though that uh, these fields they support spin text, roots like this. Root, so it supports spin text, right? So you can get the variations of this. Obviously, I mean, for 100 pages, this is not good enough. So what we have done is, well, let me just delete these guys here. What we have done is that we have implemented a random function. So you can actually, instead of inputting keywords manually, like I just did, you can select random keywords. And then I can choose the file. And I have made my file with 700 keywords. Looks like this, 700 keywords. And I explained to you in two seconds why I did it this way. And when I click preview, so now I actually uh, select randomly from a very, very extremely long list from 700 keywords. I, I select randomly put, you know, seven keywords in this page here and in each page also, all the other pages also is random. And the reason why this is a good idea is uh, when you regenerate this website and, you know, let's say you first you produce this website, upload it to Amazon. Then when you regenerate it, it will be an entirely new website because all the keywords will be in all different places. And when you combine this with the 
with the uh, random sentences function that I also made. So let me show you how this works. You simply select here, uh, you know, 700 paragraphs, Laura Mipsum, random content, blah, 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 and click preview. So now you see that uh, the Lorem Ipsum random content for a 543, 162, 649, 568, 507, 253. So each of the 100 pages will be now unique. And if you regenerate it, upload it to a different cloud, it will be a new unique website. Because there are so many pages, so many keywords, so many paragraphs, so that Google's Google will never be able to tell that this is a new website. Or oh, that, that sorry, that this is not. It is a new website. Google will never be able to tell that it's the same content. That's what I meant. I hope you understand what I mean. So, uh, so this is the reason that why we implemented it, it this way, and why 700 keywords and why 700 paragraphs. Well, if you have 100 pages, right, and you have uh, seven keywords, right, so that's 700 keywords. If you want a unique key, if you want 700 unique keywords, if, if you want a unique keywords and you don't want the same keyword to be repeated, you need at least 700 keywords because you have 100 pages and you have one and you have seven keywords. And with, when it comes to paragraphs, it's the same thing, but it works a little bit differently because when it comes to keywords, obviously, you know, we can only have a maximum of seven keywords on the same page because they are, you know, inserted in the subheaders and they're also inserted in the jump links. When it comes to contents, it's a different matter because we still have 100 pages and we still have uh, seven content areas, but uh, we can uh, multiply by X paragraphs, so to speak. Um, so we have 700 we have actually we have x times 700 paragraphs paragraphs so the way we implemented this in um, in uh, in yax means that if you want unique content you know on all pages and never to repeat the same paragraph more than one time you need at least 700 paragraphs at least and YAX is designed in this way so that it will always apply all the paragraphs that's included in your content file. So what this means is that if I select, you know, this guy here with 700 paragraphs, paragraphs, that's a difficult word, and click preview, then I get one paragraph in each content area. If I select, uh, you know, this guy here, it has almost 1,400 paragraphs, and click preview, then obviously in each content area, there will be, in most content areas, there will be actually two paragraphs. And if I have a, uh, if I have a file that only has, let's say, 350 paragraphs, so 350 paragraphs, this will have less than uh, 700 paragraphs, right? And I click open and I click apply. Then what will happen is that uh, the same paragraph will actually just be used twice. So. That's uh, that's uh, that's how this will work. So uh, obviously it's it's not possible to tell from this uh, beautiful unique example design example, but um, that's how it works. So when it comes to this, you know, mass page mode here, uh, what I do, what I do when it comes to keywords, I have somewhere between two hundred to four hundred keywords, uh, and I don't mind that it, you know the same keyword is repeated, you know, across. A couple of pages it doesn't matter to me and uh, when it comes to paragraphs I try to try to have it depends on the length of the paragraphs obviously because you can see here let me let me select this guy here it depends on the amount of words in the same paragraph if you have 700 paragraphs and you only have one two three four five words in this paragraph Obviously, it will be extremely thin content. But if you have, uh, let's say, 50 words in each paragraph, then perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, 700 paragraphs is enough because then you will have, if you have 50 words in each paragraph, then you will have on the same page seven times 50. That's 350 words. It's a little bit low, but it's still, 
it's okay. So I mean, it's it's up to your judgment. So your, it's up to your SEO knowledge to 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 say well how many how many uh, how many uh, paragraphs do you want? And if you are using, for, let's say for example, you're using Article Forge, and uh, you only have time to produce 350 paragraphs. Let's say like this. This is 300 paragraphs of content from Article Forge. Then what I simply do, I simply do like this. Let me show you. Control A, Control C, B, 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 and Control S. So now I simply, I simply duplicated the same content. And I can go into X, and I can select the file again. It's much larger this time. Boom, and click preview. And all of a sudden, I have more content. You can see this. And it looks unique, and because the um, obviously I only had 350 unique uh, paragraphs, but I copied it and inserted them, you know, five or six times, uh, or seven times, how many it was, and now I have more content, and it still it still seems random, so um, to me and also to the Google bot. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for now. It's just a, a couple of words about you know the randomness of uh, these. Um, of these uh, keywords and content file modes. Um, and obviously it doesn't matter if you're using this builder mode, this, 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 or this, or this, it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it's the, it's the same thing. It's the, the principle is the same. So that's it, that's it for now guys. Take care. Thank you.